Hey there! So, today in DML, we are going to be enchanting our dragons for 10 minutes. And, uh, I'm not really sure why. I think it's mostly just the fact that I have so many useless enchantment materials, essentially. Like, seriously, 3,463 wind materials? Really? So, um, I'm just annoyed seeing at how many of these random materials we have, so I'm actually just going to use up a ton of them until I have, like, probably about a hundred left in each eventually. I won't get through all of them today, obviously, but, you know, just seeing so many of our cool dragons that we have, like, special limited edition or limited time dragons, I kind of want to go through and enchant some of them. The only thing is, we never have a lot of energy materials, so energy is the only material that I don't want to have to use on a dragon, so more or less all dragons that aren't energy or maybe shadow, you know, anything apart from that goes, basically. Again, I'm not sure what use this is going to have at the end of the day. I guess we have a lot more dragons that we can use as cannon fodder in the enchantment league if we do this. But apart from that, this is more or less just a... I kind of want to do it, so I will. <laughs> I love that. Pointless upgrading. Fantastic. Well, I mean, how often do you see me just sitting here upgrading dragons for 10 straight minutes, basically? I mean, while we're doing this, we can sort of look through and see some of the dragons that we have that, you know, maybe I forgot about, like, this pop art dragon. Like, when do I remember that we have him? He's so random. And we got him a very long time ago because he's the, what is it, friendship? No, he's the referral code dragon, isn't he? So, I got that like two years ago. Something like that, almost. Two and a half years ago, maybe. Whatever. I, I ended up doing that, like, very early on. Thanks to, you know, YouTube and that. And you're know, like everyone in the Enchantment League. Let's get a level four ceremony dragon. Look at that. Look at how nice and easy that was. And the other reason I did that is because I've got quite a lot of high grade fire and plant materials for some reason. And look, you might be watching me do this and be going, Quacks, what are you doing? What if they bring out some more enchantment dragons? You are going to hate yourself for wasting all of these materials. Look, I already know that. If I end up not having enough materials at one point to upgrade a dragon because I used them here, I've got... Again, there's no one else to blame but myself. But at the moment, like, these fine or average grade materials that aren't divine and legendary, when am I going to use them? Like, I'm never going to get through almost 3,500 wind. Never. Obviously, you can upgrade them to higher grade materials, but I'd need trinkets for that. And while I'm trying to upgrade a Hermes dragon, he takes thousands and thousands and thousands of trinkets to upgrade. Like, um, I don't remember whether it was 35,000 or 80,000. I'm not sure where I'm getting those numbers from, but that's around about how much it costs to upgrade a divine. So you need a lot. And you know, our Imperial Dragon here, he's basically one of my favourite dragons in the game. So, we're finally going to fully upgrade him. Look at that, a million gold and barely any materials cost. Doesn't he look spiffing now? Level 19 fully upgraded. I love that. <clears throat> but you know, this will make me less inclined to want to sell these dragons as well. Which, you know, I've got another bell dragon in my inventory, so I'd want to... I might be tempted to sell it one day if I need the space, but enchanting it might make me, you know, feel a little bit more... I don't know, of a connection. And I, I've always said it, but I, I don't think it's ever a good idea to sell, like, common dragons, uh, rare dragons, epics... I never think it's a good idea to sell any of the basic breedables because you can always use them for something. The Dragon of the Week might need them, the Dragon of the Month might need them. So, no, it's always a good idea, really. And I, I know I didn't upgrade a couple of dragons there, 
but um, I don't know if I want to upgrade the piggy. You know, we got plenty of stuff and a fire is 370. Eh, it's kind of lowish, not really. I'm not going to upgrade this fire dragon very much because I probably definitely will end up selling him during castle events and whatnot. But like this goblin dragon here, he, he requires so little to fully enchant him. So why the heck would we not? Why the heck would we not when I've got so much extra to waste? Brilliant. And you know, upgrading dragons with the materials, all that it costs is the materials and gold. So, realistically you're not wasting anything else but the materials themselves, because the cost for the gold as well, like I've got 108 million gold currently, a million gold ain't nothing. A million gold I could make instantly just by collecting from my habitats. And then we've got the chrome, we've got the envy dragon. I know the envy dragon was a favourite for a lot of people. I just think he's he's got a neat little design, but nothing too, you know, amazing to me. Oh, our little firefly dragons! I love those two. The little the little um twins, the little twins that sit in the habitat up top. I love them. Absolutely adore those things. Then we got a ginger dragon here who was obviously available during the Christmas event and that. A dice dragon. Oh god, taking me back. Taking me back to the first castle event that ever came out in DML. See, it's, it's nice sometimes just looking through your dragon collection and, you know, thinking about how many blooming events we've had to take part in <laughs> to get all of these dragons. And, you know, like the Zhang that we just upgraded there right next to the Sage Dragon, that's his name. Then we got this guy, we've got the Quake Dragon, who only came out relatively recently. The Orc Dragon, he's kind of a... I think he's got a cool design as well. Um, I think a lot of the dragons in this game have cool designs, because, I mean, there aren't many dragons that just look like a basic dragon. The only dragon, really, that comes to mind for that is the fire dragon, um, the wind dragon, and more specifically the fireball dragon. Like, the fireball dragon does just look like a basic dragon that you could find in, you know, any TV show or game. And we got Quacks here, the little chick dragon. Speaking about weird dragons, um, I was tempted to fully upgrade him, but, uh... I think I might save the f the top grade plant materials for now, but level 3 enchantment's still pretty good. Obviously, level 3 enchantment will probably let you defeat a dragon 4 levels higher, level 4 enchantment will let you beat a dragon that's 6 levels higher, I think it's something like that anyway. So, yeah, happy, happy. It's just kind of amazing to think about how many enchantment fights we've had to do and like how many chests we've opened to get this many materials. Let's just think about how many individual fights I must have had to done. Had to have done over time. Let's not cut out words and make myself sound a little bit stupid. <laughs> I always sound stupid, never mind. And why do we have so many light materials? What? We have like 1,600? Why do we have 1,600? 2,093 Earth, 3,000 Wind. God. Again, it really does just fill you up with certain materials that you really don't want. Like, I am never going to use that much wind. I am never going to use that much light. I actually don't like the light element that much. Wind is useful for building up Dragon Fury while... Well, reducing the damage of enemy dragons, but I can't think of a dragon that I'm going to use on my main team, really, that needs that much wind. Obviously our Hermes does, but apart from that, who am I going to use it on? We got a Paladin dragon, the Liberty dragon, which is a nice dragon, the Dainty, which is the, the, the adorable little blue dragon, which I really enjoy looking at as well. Just a very nice design. 
The dainty just does look like a woman, basically. And that is every single level 16 and above dragon that we own. We have just been through this entire list. That is kind of crazy, and that is 10 minutes worth of enchanting right there. Wow. Well, you know, if we randomly go into a habitat, we'll probably see that the dragon's enchanted now. There we go, this guy's enchanted. The bell's enchanted. The big horn isn't because he's got a shadow. But, uh, hope you enjoyed this weird, kind of random video for now. And, uh, you know, until next time, I'll see you then.